Assalamu alaikum, this is Haytham and in this video I'm going to show how to model different types of base plate connections using Tecla structures. So here we have different types and I will show also how to add the stiffeners and different types of anchors like straight anchors with washer plate or bent anchors. Also here there is another type. There is ability to make a chamfer in the base plate, how to put the grout also. So all of these issues I will explain in this video. So let us start. The first type of connection, I will just delete this base plate and I will remodel again. Go to the component type 1042. This is the number of the base plate connection, the first type, this one. And by double click, we will get the property of this connection. First, click on the column, then click at the point of the connection. You will get base blade connection as default. This is the picture of the connection, and here you have from both sides the distance from the flange of the column to the to the end of the plate. So this one, if I increase like 100, let us see, modify, as you see, the distance between the flange and the edge of the plate increased. So from this one, you can just decide this distance as per the design. Okay, modify, again, it's 50. Okay, we'll go to the parts. In the parts, the main issue, we have the plate thickness. Here, there's, it is 20. If it is more, like 30. Modify. So this is the plate thickness. Also, we can give the dimension of the plate from B and H, or we leave it as per the distances between the bolts and the between the bolt and the edge of the plate. It will be decided later. Going to the anchor bolts. Here, first of all, the rod profile, which is the diameter of the anchor bolts. If you click here, you will get from circular section round. You can go to the rod. Then you can decide the road diameter from here. If you select like 22, let us see, apply, okay. Then modify, as you see, redraw diameter now less. So from here you can change the diameter. Again, go to 30, apply, okay, as per our example and then select the connection, modify. So this is how to change the anchor bolt diameter. And then net profile, from here you can select the net profile. Here we have M30, which is the same diameter of the anchor bolt. So if you want to change, also you can click here and select from these profiles if you are working in metric or you can go to imperial if you are working in imperial units and the washer profile which is the washer under the net and should be also M30 also from here you can change and you can select also in metric units or imperial units then we have the plate washer the plate washer I will come to explain the plate washer which is in the type of the anchor rod here we have bend anchor rod as you see here and we can change if you want to select the straight anchor rod with washers also we can select from here and we can click modify so it will be modified like this and as you see this is the washers also plate washers so from here so if we select this type we have to modify the plate washer as per our uh, design details so if it is more like 15 mm or this one maybe like 60 by 60 we can enter the dimensions of the washer then modify apply ok as you see the washers have been modified we will go back to 50 Modify, apply. 
so this is the uh, washers and also from here we can decide which component is there in the connection so if you check here this is for the net this is for the washer under the net then the washer plate sometimes if we have washer plate under the under the net above the base plate we have to click this yes and then under the base plate this is the washer and the net also and mostly this is used in practical to support the column during installation and before installation of the grout and here if we have intermediate plate like this one which is the gasket plate and if we don't have no need for this washer then the end washer uh, which is this one we have also a net then plate washer then another net and here also you have to activate this side then you will get the connection like this again going back to the anchor rod with bend like this here A and B you can give the dimensions here as per the design also and here the distance the total distance above the base plate which is including the washer and the net and the threaded part which is uh, should be left above the net so total it is 50 mm and here as i said if there is any uh, if there is double plate we have to mention this distance and this one threaded part length as you know the anchor rolls there is two parts there is threaded part and there is mild part so the threaded part here we have to give the dimension and here it is 120 mm and from this side also this is the dimension of the net and the washer under the net and here we have 450 total length of the anchor rod here we have different types of bend directions so if we have the bend to the outside let us first make modify here we have the bend to the outside and here if we don't have space to bend the anchor rod to the outside we can make it to the inside like this or inside to the other direction also we can select this component so the bend in the other direction and we can again use the bend to the outside in this direction or to the outside to the other direction like this so in which direction we have space to bend the anchor rod we can select and here we have the grout detail this is the grout thickness if we have grout if we don't have a grout we have to delete this one then modify so like this if we don't have any grout if we have grout you have to mention the thickness like 25 or 40 whatever as per the design last part is the bolts and the bolts this is the diameter we have to select the diameter and the material great here the tolerance as per the design and here always you have to select uh, middle because the column in the middle of the base plate and this one the distance between the center of bolt to the edge of the plate as per the design here how many bolts in this direction if we have more than two we have to select like three and the distance let us say it is 75 so if we click modify so it's like this and we have also to arrange in this direction again we can we can also give the distance from the edge this is 50 and also from the side 50 and here two rows in between in this direction we have to select the we have to select the distance also if we select 150 you see the bolts will go in this direction and we can also increase to 200 modify like this the plate also increased in this direction we can now increase the distances between the between the bolts so this is 75 we can make it like 100 
modify so as you see the distance increase and also we can push the balls to this side by increasing this distance modify as you see and all these distances should be as per the detailed design this is the first type of the base plate connection the second type of the connection let us go to the component again and type in the component 1014 and go to the 1014 connection plate then on this column click the column then click the point of connection so this is the default connection double click on this connection first we have to go to the plate and decide the thickness let us select 16 mm modify okay then we have web plate and flange plate so if it is different thicknesses you can select the thickness for each one after that we'll go to the bolts and from here we can select the bolt diameter let us say 22 the grade from here we can select and the tolerance then here we have to select middle then the distances from the center of bolt to the edge of the plate let us say this is 60 and this is 60 and here let us use three bolts at 150 we say modify see it's like this and then the other direction in this direction also we have to give the distances from the edges let us say it is 60 by 60 modify so the connection like this now we'll go to the stiffeners these stiffeners first of all we have to decide the height of the stiffener and the width so let us say it is 80 by 80 this is from the flange side and here we can decide the shape of the stiffener how it will be double stiffener like this or with the plate or a single stiffener like this as we select then the stiffeners to the website you can also select like 80 by 80 and here also the shape of the stiffener okay click modify so the stiffener is like this redraw as you see this is the connection with the stiffeners the anchor rod it is same as the previous you can give all the uh, information here the anchor rod diameter and here the nut from here you can select also then the washer also then the plate washer which is this one and from here also we can select the uh, type of the anchor whether it's with bend 90 degree or 180 degree or it is a plate washer anchor if we have like this modify we can also rotate the bend direction from this one this one to the to this side we can use we can select the other side like this to the inner side if there is no space and we can also select the 90 degree bend modify it will be like this and we can change the direction to the outside like you see in this direction there is no space so there is no choice to bend to this direction we have to bend to inside to or to the other direction so either we bend to this direction to inside like this or we have to bend to the other direction this direction and this is the grout also if there is no grout you have to delete this thickness of the grout then modify see this is the plate now without the grout okay so this is the second type of the base plate then we have the uh, third type we have again to go to the component and write 1047 which is this one let us model here click the component then click the column then the point of connection double click so here first we have to give the chamfers if you would like to give chamfers like one inch from this side again one inch by one inch ok 
okay the other side also and here the shape of the stiffener plate if you want to select any one of these shapes now come here to the base plate if you have a chamfer at the edges you can give here the dimension of the chamfer like if we have one inch also let us assume so if we click now modify you've seen the base plate with chamfers like this then we'll go to the parts this is the plate and we'll select the thickness like 20 and this is the dimension of the plate modify after that we'll go to the stiffeners as you see here the stiffener position here we have to give the number of the stiffeners as we said in the picture it is from 1 to 8 so here we have to decide which stiffeners we have if we go to the picture and we can say we have 3 and 6 7 and 8 so we're going to the stiffeners we give 3 6 7 8 okay then modify as you see these are stiffeners which is numbered as 3 6 7 and 8 if we give the others like 2 4 1 and 5 and say modify you've seen all the stiffeners will be created so we have to decide which stiffeners we have which one we don't have so we'll assume all stiffeners we have and here if there is any offset we have to decide otherwise we keep it as it is now the dimensions of the stiffeners itself we have to go to the parts and here decide the stiffeners for one two four and five and here three six seven eight so if we say like the stiffeners thickness 16 mm and it is 80 by 80 and here also 16 and 80 by 80 mm and click modify so you've seen the stiffeners change like this and also as we said the shape of the stiffener we can also decide from this selection it is like this modify so as you see stiffeners so now we balance only the bolts and we'll go to the bolts diameter 22 okay and degrade also okay tolerance we can do six and here distance from the edge we can select 40 by 40 here three bolts at 100 and here we can select to 100 and the distance is 40 by 40 from the edges then modify we can increase this distance like 150 modify this is the end of this tutorial so at the end uh, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and press the like button thank you for watching